Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. So happy Friday, and we are doing a happy hour for happy Friday. So that just means come hang out. We will create something. Um, when I do happy hours, it is not revolved around a bar or alcohol, but it's revolved around friendship and art and crafting and stuff like that. So guys, come on in. Say hi when you get here. Hi, Christy. You are on it. Glad you're here. Hi, Ann. So some of y'all, hi, Serenity. Some of y'all got my text, I see. Good. Awesome. It worked. It's, um, I don't normally like set it and forget it, and I did. So right as I hit live, I was like, oh, no, my text. And then I was like, oh, but I already said it. So good. So that worked. I'm going to pull me up over here on the computer. So tell me how you're doing. Hi, Denise. Once I get this pulled up, I don't have to try to reach so far to get to it. Okay. Happy weekend to you, Ann. All right, I don't think I miss anybody. I'm glad y'all are here. Thank you so much for sprinkling. If you do sprinkle today while we're live, please let me know. Just leave that comment. And um, I am trying something new. So... We can't ask you guys to do that, but if you enjoy what we do as crafters or creators and you do sprinkle it out to more people so that they can see as well, then I want to say a special thank you. I always say thank you if I know that you did it, but I'm going to surprise people. So I might just tell you, hey, you got some happy mail coming your way if you don't mind giving me your address. So thank you guys for doing that. It helps us so much. You never, I don't want you to ever feel pressure, but if you can do it and you do, I just want to say a special thank you. So anyway, y'all, I've got this candle going. It's Twisted Peppermint. Now I can relax. Um, tell me, do y'all like candles? Like when you're trying to relax and stuff? I just think kind of setting this little atmosphere. So you're, you're doing the same thing. Like we're taking just a little carving, a little time out of our day to do something creative I see something said to activate a stars party. I don't know how that works, but I'm so happy when it happens. <laughs> I think I've, if you've watched me before recently, I told you that Facebook pays us like $50 if we actually make the goal. So I don't know what the goal is, but whatever it is, if, if we make it, then they pay me. So I'm like, yes, but no pressure. Okay, you burn them daily, good. I do too. Well, I don't do them daily, but... I do really like to kind of set this little mood in here when I'm in here. And um, it's amazing, but you know, this room is small. I don't have everything that I need. Like I, but you take what you have because I used to be at the kitchen table. So just take what you have and be grateful for it and set it up as good as you can and just be grateful. And then eventually you get, you know, you get to the things you need here and there. Are you, Jean? You do, Deborah? Yeah, I, I probably should light them daily, but I do a lot, probably three days a week, maybe more. Um, so, Jean, that's a bummer because I do love them. I'm allergic to a lot of colognes, so, you know, I can be around somebody for like just a few minutes and already I'm getting a horrible headache if it's really strong. Thank y'all so much for the stars. I see you, Carrie and Deborah. And you did it twice again. <laughs> You're so amazing. Christy, Tracy, thank y'all so, so much. Good evening, Connie. So, um, I have already, I, I like to use wood boxes a lot. When I can get these on sale, I usually buy like 10 because when they go on sale, it's a really good price. I get these at Michael's and sometimes they don't even carry them. So I got online one time and they literally did not have them on the website, like they were just gone. Um, so I don't know if they always, you know, I don't know if they're gonna get them back or not, but this is left from when I got them last time. And it is just a plain wood box. So you can make your own or you could um, get one maybe on Amazon. I gotta say hi to, hi Kim, glad you're here. And you like candles, Carrie? Thank you, Connie. I appreciate it. So, um, 
You know, if you're around here at Christmas, what I did was I turned it this way. I painted a seam. No, I didn't paint. I didn't paint. I used a sack. So I used a Walmart sack and I decoupaged it on here. It was gorgeous. It was a barn and some trees and just really Christmassy looking and cold looking. Um, thank you, Gloria. And then what I did was after it all dried, I drilled holes in it and put lights through it. So the lights were back here and just kind of set right here where nobody could see them. But then on this side, it was lit up, so it was really pretty. So grab a box if you see one for anything, um, because you can do so much with these. Of course, you can make it a tray, and I love to do that too. And I've done a few of those where I'll paint something in here and then either put a sealer or resin, and then you can use it as a tray on your bathroom counter or on a nightstand, kind of a catch-all by your entry table, you know. Anyway, these are awesome. So I love them just for all kind of different reasons. And I get them at Michael's. So let's see. We'll get started here. Did they say if we made it or it's not done yet? Let me, while I am, before I forget, because if I don't do this right this second, I will forget. I want to put in my link here into this thing for you guys because I am open. So we've got the new Art and Craft VIP group that is open and we're already getting people in and getting situated and I am so excited about it. I would love to have all of you in it. I mean, the more ladies we have, the better. Um, so let me, if this comment went through, I'm gonna try to pin it for you. And that way, if you're interested, you can click on it and go read about it. And then, you know, if it was something that you like or you think you might want to do, you can join us. Oh, it's not going to let me pin it, is it? There it is. It did. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think that's your third time and I see the stars. That's so fun. I love that. Thank you, AB. How are you today? Glad you're here. Krista, thank you. Or Cresta, I'm sorry I mispronounced that. How are you? And thank you so much for the stars. Y'all are awesome. Gosh, I appreciate that so, so much. Alrighty, let's get going. You guys help me. So I want to incorporate this wood box and some painting and some bling. So this is Totally Dazzled. How many of y'all know about Totally Dazzled or have ever bought Totally Dazzled? I know, I'm so glad you did, A.B. So glad. This stuff is just so fun. Um, you know, it reminds me of things that my mom or my grandma had when you think about brooches and, you know, those pretty things they wore. And so those probably aren't in style right now, but, you know, they'll come back. They will. So anyway, I want to show you these up close. So gorgeous. I use some for Christmas, but I'm going to use some of these for this Valentine's Day thing I'm going to do. Don't you love these? You just got yours, Christy. Do you love it? And did you get like a mix of colors. I don't remember if you told me, um, but I did. I got a mix of colors. See that little box? Let's see, is it that way? Um, it's got the gold and the, the uh, this color, the rose gold. Couldn't think of the name of it, rose gold. And then I've also got silver and I've got some kind of, I don't know what they're called. Um, maybe antique silver, but they're gorgeous, all of them. So. This is what I'm going to use for Valentine's Day because rose gold is just so romantic looking, right? So anyway, that's what we're going to do. I might, I got out my glass. I might add some glass, glass pieces. Have, have y'all seen me resin with these? I love using them. And so if you followed me, you've probably seen my resin tree I did at Christmas and I love using them. But I got a few things out as I was getting ready for this because I didn't know exactly what I was going to do. I was going to show you. When you are out and about doing your errands and stuff or running in to get something, look and see what's on clearance because this is obviously something for children that Michael's had. It comes with the, you know, already sketched box and then paints and a little brush. But, you know, when these go on sale for 80, 90% off, it makes it like a buck or less. So grab them because we don't care what is on it. It doesn't matter what it was intended for because you can paint right over that. 
All you have to do is get some chalk paint, any kind of chalk paint, paint over it, and then you've got a nice surface. So I was so happy to find this. Um, but anyway, I was gonna mention grabbing things like that when you see it, just think outside the box. Always have your mind thinking, can I paint this? Or can I sand it or, you know, whatever. And then literally just spray paint it or put a coat of paint. And these come from the Dollar Tree. And, you know, this is something I've had since last fall. But it's just this little cardboardy kind of thing. You can just take it off, just pop it off. And I don't throw it away because now that's a tracer. That's a little helmet that I might need to use for something. It's got these little foam things. They're almost like earplug material. Take those off and then you've got another box. So remember that when you see something, you don't have to use it the way that they intended. I mean, I, I would say a good portion of what I buy at Dollar Tree is for other things like this. So now I would probably try to get most of that off and then this is a great surface for something. You can also take this off and use it this way just like I said about the lights, you can hide your lights on this side, drill some holes and poke them through. So hang around me and I'll show you some tricks. Okay, let's see, just about six of those. You did carry, did you get them at a good price? Cause they were on sale. Um, and then they, Dollar Tree has these little ones for a dollar or did. They have, they pretty much carry these year round with just whatever the, the design is at the time. This came from Michaels and it is small, but it's super cute. And if you want to start doing resin art or something and you just, you know, you're a little intimidated by a big piece, grab a few of these little small ones over a dollar and um, you can use that. So I wanted to, to remind everybody while I was doing this that you can think outside the box and use what you have available. Thank y'all for the hearts. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get going. I will actually should put this on and you might be able to hear me better. Y'all let me know if you can hear better once I put that in. Okay. $2, that's, that's awesome. Oh, you did, Ann, good. The books. Did y'all see mine? Can you see it if I move? See it right behind me? So that's the book she's talking about. Let's see, can y'all hear okay? So this is a box and it's, you know, it's in the shape of a book. So you can paint it to look like a book, but I'm gonna use mine like for jewelry, just kind of a catch-all for my jewelry. So I painted it and I just put some uh, triple thick on top to make it really glossy and pretty. And then I'm going to put down some felt. I have black felt, which is what I was gonna use, but I decided to try to find some pink because I just think it's the whole experience of opening it up and being pink inside is gonna be so pretty. So I was like, I don't think I want black. I think I wanna try to find some pink. Oh good, you hear better now? Perfect. Okay, so anyway, um, that's what I mean about when you see something that's in the shape of a book, you can still turn it and think of what else you could do with it. So anyway, that's, that's that. Now, let's get to going on this. So the other day, I painted a um, flower design. I'm trying to even think, what did I do that on? Was it canvas? I can't remember. What was that, guys? Were y'all with me? What did I paint that on? And why don't I know, is it? <laughs> that's so funny that I can't remember where I painted it, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do kind of a flower design on here and then all of this bling I'm going to add, and I think it's going to be gorgeous. And I will also end up resining it. I probably will do that tomorrow because I'll need for the paint to dry. But, um, and then I'm planning on adding some glass if it looks good. So we'll just see. I also have these from, I think, Dollar Tree. Let's see if it says. Uh, it doesn't say. So it was either Dollar Tree or... I'm pretty sure it was, but anyway, really pretty colors. You'll see. You know, you could use those on there. I just think that would be so pretty. Let's just open this real quick. We'll get we'll get to painting really fast. The bling, oh guys, that's another thing I should give y'all is the link to that. Um, you you are missing out if you have not tried the totally dazzled. It is so fun to play with. 
Um, I'm literally thinking of doing some stuff on a denim jacket that I have. You know, like if you just grab one at Goodwill or a resale shop, or if you have one that you don't mind, you know, experimenting on, I'm just planning on um, either, either gluing it or a lot of these will come with a pin on the back, just like a regular brooch. So you can just pin them on. And I'm just going to play around and bling one up and see if I like it. Because, I mean, why not? I just think it'd be fun and, you know, I think we should wear what we want and bling it out if we want to. So that's that's my plan anyway. I'm going to drop this um, link in here for you guys because I believe it gives you a discount. It will give me um, just a slight commission, if you would, uh, affiliate, you know, bonus or whatever. And so, it's not a lot, but it will help. Every bit helps. So, I might as well open that up for you guys and give it to you. Bear with me. Let's see. Open. What's everybody doing tonight on this Friday night? It's cold here, finally. Okay, here it is. Now, I need to remember to type in my code, and that's what gives you the discount. Y'all are awesome to sit here and wait for me. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about putting that in ahead of time. Uh but I'll get it in here for you. I mean, it's like 10%, so I, that's what I did the first time I ordered it. I used somebody's code, and then when I got it and started playing with it, I was like, oh, this is this is good. I really, really, oh, no, I put the wrong one, y'all. <laughs> I put the wrong one. Deb, Deb, Deb. <laughs> Are y'all gonna wait for me to do this? I feel so bad. There, I opened the wrong um, thing and just grabbed that real fast and it wasn't the right one. Let me go back. But I will say, if you need stencils, that is a great one to use and it gives you the 10% off. Um, this one, you don't have to have a code and that's what threw me. I saw that and I was like, I didn't think you had to have a code with this one. And so the one I'm gonna drop in is for the bling and you don't have to type anything else in. So let's see here. There. Come on, come on, come on. I just wanna be sure it worked, it did. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging with me. But I wanted to open this because I really think this is gonna be gorgeous if we use some of this. And then you're gonna have some of these. You know, you can see the colors are gonna be perfect, right? Can y'all see that? So, let's get started. Y'all are so sweet. AB, did you give me more? You don't do that. You guys are so kind, but I, I don't ever want anybody to feel like you have to do that. That is totally, totally just up to y'all. Okay. I'm not seeing comments. I hope that, oh, it's very cold and, and snowed four inches, sloppy mess. That's a lot. That is a lot of snow. I joke around because we just don't get it here. We just really don't. I feel like I have one open, I do. And so whenever I hear that y'all are getting that much snow, it's just like, wow, that's crazy. Can't imagine. So, you know, I had this debate the other day. Do I do pinks and, or do I do red? So, I've got two shelves. I've got, if you look behind me, oops, let me, if you look behind me, you see the pink right there behind me, and then the next shelf up is all going to be red. So, I couldn't decide, so we're going to do both. So, this will go on the pink shelf. So, all I'm going to do 
is start off and get some get this design on here and I did paint this on something else it's so funny I cannot remember what it was like was it a box was it a canvas was it I don't know And I'm just kind of, as I go, deciding how big I want things. So you can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you do. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and just kind of, I know I'm going to have a leaf. And we can make it a little different. So we could make, you know, some... Um, you could make it like with other flowers even and just kind of keep going. Let's just do that. Let's just make these all flowers and just change it up and just do a whole bunch. And then let's, be, let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, as long as we don't have an even number, I'm good. East Tennessee got seven inches. Oh, that's so much. So do you guys have everything you need? You know, like if you're getting that much snow, you don't want to leave the house. So do you know it's coming and you go get everything you need? Is that kind of what you guys do? I know when we get snow here in Texas, it just like, we all just freak out. We definitely run to the store and buy, you know, everything we might need. Can y'all see that? Be sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, you can. Let's see, I saw something come in while I did that. Rebecca said, I don't see your comment on here now, Rebecca. Oh, I bet she messaged me, and that's where I saw it, not on there. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm just going to keep on painting. I'm just mixing these two colors and kind of getting, you know, a variety going. So I'll put the two colors on my brush, and usually when they're next to each other, I'll do one a darker and then the other one a little bit lighter. Just kind of alternate so that they don't all look exactly the same. But just using those two colors. I think this is going to be really pretty with the rose gold, don't y'all? Um, probably lighter would be better, and that way they'll show up good. This, oh, I did forget to say that I did do the base coat in this gray chalk paint because I really, in my original thought, was having gray and white and pink. And um, so I just kind of think this is going to be pretty. We'll see. What do y'all think? You like it so far? Just the color combo. It's really hard when you're done with Christmas and you're ready to do something else. But, you know, it's we're like in kind of an in-between phase. Wood book. That's what it was. It was a book. Yes. Homebound, Rita. Oh, Rita, I'm sorry. I know. That is hard. It's hard. It's hard to be stuck in and not be able to get out anyway, really, and be dependent. But when the people we're dependent on can't get to us, that's really hard. I'm so sorry. But um, I'm sure anybody can mail you things, right? And because it's like Amazon and those people find a way. They still seem like they're out delivering. And I don't know about where you guys are. Where are you, Rita? What state? Yeah, Christy, I just went blank. I was like, where did I paint that? Well, on the box I just showed y'all. That's where... I couldn't picture like I was like it was it a canvas because I typically do paint on canvas hi Brooke how are you I'm glad you popped in 
Oh, wow, Carrie. You ha your friend's dog was missing that long, probably because of the fireworks. Is that why? Um, every time this, you know, New Year's comes around or any 4th of July, everybody in our neighborhood shoots them off. And our dog gets so scared and she'll go hide in the closet and things. So I know so many dogs kind of bolt out of the house or get through the fence or whatever. That is so sad, but I'm so glad they found it. Tell us more about that. Gosh, that's, I would just be sick if our dog got out. Our dog is like our, our baby. You know, when your kids leave home and you don't have grandkids yet, you just, those pets are who we mother, you know, and who we uh, cuddle with and everything. And if you've been around boxers, they are smart. Smart, smart. Oh, that's so sad. I'm gonna pull this out. This is my favorite color right now. I just love using it. It's the uh, Pearl, Oyster Pearl, and I use it all the time. I just love it. It's so pretty, and I know y'all can't really see on camera, but it's super shimmery and just looks really pretty mixed in. Y'all see that? I don't know if you can. I'm really glad you guys popped in. And I know not everybody can always stay the whole time, but I just want you to know I'm glad that when you do and when you can even stay for a little bit or say hi, um, it always, you know, makes our day. We kind of get used to seeing y'all, you know, like certain ones usually pop in. And so when you don't, we're like, hmm, so-and-so wasn't there today. Or, you know, you're, you, you're like our friends. And so we all like to see our friends, don't we? Now, I'm going to go back, and I won't have this much on each one like I do now, but I'm putting it down, and then I can work it out in a little bit. I'll kind of go back over it and put some other things. Hello from Waco, Kathy. Awesome, neighbor. Yeah, oh, Brooke, really? Yeah, they really are. They're so, so smart and very, at least ours, very loyal, very loving, very protective. In fact, she's really, really too protective, and she scares me sometimes. So, um, wish we had gotten her training when she was young. But she just really loves her family, and maybe a little too much. But they are really smart. Oh, that's so cute, Christy. Well, that's so sweet. We should, you know. You don't want your dog to be in pain. And dogs for us are different than dogs back in the 50s, right? You know, our parents, we had a dog. It was outside. We didn't really, I mean, we played with it when we were kids and everything. But, I mean, they. it was more like, you know, if it's sick, you, you take care of it and everything. But they weren't going to spend $1,000 on that dog. No way. Um, whereas today, dogs are like pet, I mean, like, um, you know, part of the family and there's a lot of people that spend a lot of money on those dogs. So here's where I'm just gonna kind of play, get some more dark colors in some of these. But I love showing these flowers because they really are easy. You do not have to stress, you know, it's just like an abstract flower. It doesn't have to, it, people will know it's a flower when they look at it, so you don't have to worry about it not looking like a flower. Oh, wow, Jean. Oh, wow, really? That's awful. Well, stay, be careful because it's so flared up right now and you definitely don't want a relapse. I think I dropped my little towel. There it is. Oh, I didn't realize my light was right in the way. See if I can there. Maybe move that out of your way. Don't have to holler at me. Oh, yours was protective too. English bulldogs are awesome. Yeah, and prayers for everybody who 
who is fighting COVID or um, has a family member. I've seen a lot of it here on Facebook lately. You know, people talking about somebody that has it. And so I hate that. I'm gonna mix a little of that, lighten that up. It also gives a little shimmer. I need some other colors in here too. Oh, I know, Jean. It's really, oh, it's really terrible. And so many nurses quit, you know, last year. And um, so I know that it's it's really a terrible thing. And and the hospitals and doctors and they're all very exhausted from it and over over tired from just the day to day of it. So I'm just gonna take a little a little black with the green and get some dark in here. And then I'll go back and add that other green. Just kinda, so that it's not all one color. that tonight at seven o'clock if you guys aren't busy and don't have anything to do come over to the sparkle room um kathy d demonico and chris hunter have a you know group it's a free group called the sparkle room and you just uh, request to get in and they let you in. And then I would do that before seven because once they're busy doing it, they won't be able to let people in, I'm sure. But um, they are going to have six of them. So the sparkle seven, wait, sparkle six, I'm sorry. I spoke out of turn. It's spar sparkle six. So there's six business owners who do arts and crafts and they are gonna be um, together tonight. It'll be hilarious. It, it was last time. Some of you know, cause you're putting the hearts and stuff I can see, but, um, they, it's like a talk show with the crafters. So they are crafting and stuff, but they're talking the whole time. They're laughing they're having fun. You get to know them on a different level and it's really, you know, just super fun to see their interaction. And, um, you know, you, it's not something that you create along with them. You're just enjoying it, and it's really fun. So if you have a little time, go watch them at 7 o'clock, and it's in the Sparkle Room. And I can put a link um, when I'm done here, or let's see. I will definitely take one of their posts and share it onto my page so that you can get in there if you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes, they do like, look like peonies. I know. Aren't they pretty? I love peonies. Oh, yeah, Jean, you can do it. I'm telling you guys, this is the easiest one because they're all different. You know, yours may not look exactly like mine, but that's how you get your own style is you take something that you see somebody do and you try to do it and you come up with your own way to do it. And that's really cool. So don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like mine. Mine doesn't look exactly like the person I've learned from. So, yeah, just go for it. If you uh, want more, you know, art and crafts and stuff, and you want more full tutorials, then get in that new group that I've created, guys. It is $15 right now. I cannot tell you what a good deal that is. $15. And then you can, we can do this all the time. I go live in there one day a week for sure. Now this is, I can always go more, but for sure it's going to be one day a week. And then I have a guest presenter one time a month, although right now we had so many want to do it that I've got one a week. So, you know, you don't ever have to watch them all, but at least there's lots of uh, variety. And then I do a monthly challenge where, you know, all month long, anything that you create and make, if you put a picture in there at the end of the month, I draw for a $20 gift card. So that's just, you know, fun. Um, what else? Gosh, there's so much that's involved in that 
for $15. Um, but I did that. That is the lowest it will ever be. It will not, next time I open it, it will be much higher because we know that a membership and a, a group like that is worth more. So I did want to allow anybody who might want in there to get in. And, you know, um, I don't want money to be a reason that you feel like you're excluded, if that makes sense. Like, you know, we can all do 15. And that way, if you want to have the fun and you want to enjoy with all these other ladies and stuff, then then do it. Get in and let's get going and have fun this year. Um, you know, if you if if my thing isn't your style, there's other groups, you know, that you can be a part of. But we'd love to have you. We are super sweet. There's some of the ladies that are in there on here right now. Um, Christy, Carrie, Ann. Um, not sure if there was any others right now, but anyway, we would love to have you. I'm going to put just little hints of this green, kind of maybe just a little bit throughout there just to break that, break that up because you know there would be some sun mixed in here, poking out and stuff. But we have a lot of fun. If you're in my group, you can let everybody know that we have fun. It is, Jean. I mean, it really is. And and it just keeps us with the ability to continue to provide good content for you guys and to continue to do this as our job. Yes, Christy, come join us. So, yes, Jean. Jean signed up, so she's in there. Um we just would love to have as many as want to come. It will be fantastic. We've had a group for about a year and it's been fantastic. Um, my goal, you know, since I started my business has been to help women reduce stress and increase joy. And of course, find a supportive community. And it, that's what we're about is, you know, life is hard, but we're all in it together and we can all pray for you. We can, can, we can, uh, lift you up when you're down and you lift us up when we're down and it's just kind of a safe place on the internet to come and You know, there's never going to be drama. No politics. None of that. We just Enjoy and try to lift each other up and have you know better days Okay, so I think I've got that the way I like it Do Y'all see anything that needs to be I might need more light color now that I'm looking at it on the iPad. Let's just see, I probably do. Because now that I'm looking at it, I don't know, I don't see this doesn't really work with, with it to me. Let's see, what do y'all think? So I either need to add some more light, <clears throat> light color maybe, or maybe use silver bling. What do y'all think? Let me just do one of these flowers a little bit lighter. Hold on. Sometimes the vision that we see in our head, and I know you've probably heard that, it just doesn't look like we thought it would. Yeah, not really. I agree. Yes, if anybody's interested in that group, um, right, it should be pinned right there at the bottom. Um, does it say for you guys, the art and craft group? You should be able to click on that and it will take you. You can read the details and then decide if you want. If you do, just go ahead and join. Um, oops, that's not the brush I wanted. I'm going to use a little bigger brush and get some of this pretty pearl in here and just see if that's going to change up. Let's make one of these much more of this color and see if we like it. You're just letting your brush do the work. You're just applying the color with the brush um, in these, you know, kind of swirl motions. But it's really what's making it appear like petals. Okay, so let me see. If we had a more this color, would we like... Yeah, that looks much better with that. So... 
Forget the other colored flowers. Let's just look at this one flower. Do you see with that pen how pretty? What do y'all think? I think it looks really good with that one flower. I don't like it with the pink pink, but I like it with this. So I'm gonna wait and see what you guys think. Yes, lighter. Okay, good, thanks, Christy. Yes, that big, the red pen, that's it. Yes, y'all get in there if you, and here's another thing, if you think you'd like it, but you're just not sure, you just do one month. Do sign up, and if you end up not liking it or not, in, you know, it's not what you thought it would be, then you don't have to stay. You can cancel, and then that way, at least you get it for the 15 to, to see because there's no harm in testing it out and see what you think. Christy's been with me a long time. And I think if she didn't like it, she just wouldn't say anything. She she wouldn't tell you to come on, <laughs> right? Yeah, these needed to be lightened up, so it'll be pretty. So most of us are going to be in this weekend just because of the weather, right? Are y'all making soups or kind of hearty meals? Looks chilly or what are y'all having? And you notice I'm using a different brush because this is giving me some big, you know, big swoops of color. You can use, experiment with the different brushes that you have. So if you've got a round brush, try that. Chilly tomorrow, Jean. Yeah, that sounds good. I do, Kim, inside the, um, the group, I do things like this, all kind of paintings. We um, have been having a paint party once a month where we get together and I'll teach a painting of some type and we talk the whole time, like we just chit chat as we paint. Um, but with going live one time a week in the group, it'll be a mixture of, I mean, I said one time, one time a week. Yeah, that's right, one time a week. So it'll be a mixture of teaching some art and teaching some crafts, so yes. Yes, there's both. I am, you know, um, <laughs> I am not a fine artist, obviously. The things that I teach are more whimsical and um, fun easy because I like to help people relax with art and not stress. So that's just what I enjoy. Um, so if you're looking for anything in particular, let me know and I might have a friend that would be a better fit if you're looking for a certain type of an art. But you can kind of scroll on my page and see the kind of things that I do. I like this color combo. I actually kind of like it better. Um, I'm always doing some of the dark pink but just because I love it and that's what I like. But for this, I think this softer is gonna be real pretty with the pins. Or the bling, fun art. Yes, we do fun art. Oh, thank you, AB, I appreciate it. Well, we'd love to have you if you're interested. You would love it, I think. And we've got some of the, we have some fabulous presenters that have already agreed. You know, they just jumped right in saying, oh, yes, I'd love to. And so, you know, my calendar is so full all the way through April or March. I'm into April now. I just booked, you know, my first April. So, um, so many people that will come in and teach what they do. So there's good variety it's not gonna be so much that you're overwhelmed, which is great, because the Art and Craft Showcase was a little overwhelming. We had so many good ones. And you know, you wanna partake in each one, but you just don't have the time. 
So this will be much more manageable for everybody. I'm, you see I'm turning my brush straight up and down and it's giving me the thinner looking petals. You just play with it. But you're, my whole thing is letting the brush do the work, you know? I'm not stressing, I'm just kind of making these little movements and letting the brush do it. And just takes a little practice and then you're off to the races. Yeah, we have definitely created, you know, that's just, I'm all about supporting women and women supporting women and being encouraging. So I try to cultivate that in the group, but that's just who comes. That's just, it just winds up being, that's who enjoys great, or, you know, our group, I think is just supportive kind women. Um, Cause it just happens. It just, it's such a sweet group of women. And you know, part of that is just having the smaller atmosphere. So you're, you're inside a group which feels kind of private. I mean, it is private because the whole general public can't watch. Um, sometimes if I do a video, you might have, you know, I'll go back and look the next day and it might have 600 people that watched it. But in that group, you just have the small group so you can say anything, you can do anything, and it's less intimidating and all that. So I love it. Okay, let's just see. How do y'all like that? See what I mean by that pearl? So I can see now that it's showing up pretty well on here and it's so pretty. Let me put a heat gun to this and get it a little bit dry. And we'll see if I missed any comments. Making hamburger soup tonight, Gloria. That sounds great. Um, that's probably similar to what we do. We make one called taco soup, so I bet it's pretty similar. Thank you, Jean. I appreciate it. Yeah, Christy, I do too. I like it for a change. Because I use, um, you know, I use this a lot. This is kind of my go-to, well, those colors, the darker pinks. Hi, Mel, how are you tonight? Well, what time is it where you're at? I know it's not evening. If anybody has not sprinkled this out and wants to, I would so appreciate it. And your name will go into a bowl and then I will be choosing somebody and just saying thank you because I sure appreciate it. Oh, Denise said chili tonight too. Or was Denise and Jean are having chili? Awesome. I love a good potato soup. Now, you can't really eat it because my husband is recently diabetic. So yeah, a lot of the things that I love and like comfort foods for winter, can't do that. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I think these are so pretty, these, these, uh, you know, glass, I guess they're called beads, even though they're big, large, you know, they come from the Dollar Tree um, or Michael's. I mean, I think the Dollar Tree, but that package I wasn't able to, to tell. Let me see. Let me just cut this off and look better and see if it says anything on here. I don't know. Can y'all see that? I don't see anything that says, but I can, if anybody's interested, I can look it up and find out. Thank you, Rena. Welcome. Glad you're here. Okay, so anyway, you can take things like this that you just find. You know, um, if it did come from Michael's, Hobby Lobby anywhere will have them. And just what I will do, once this completely dries, I won't be able to do it right now because this has to be completely dry but once it does i'll arrange all of this how i want it and then pour mix up some resin and pour over it and y'all it is the prettiest outcome when you do that it just looks so pretty 
So see these little green ones, I would just probably put right on top of the leaves and make it, you know, kind of like that. And then I've got these gorgeous bling. Let me, tr let me just show you what I do. I just use a, um, here it is, a set of pliers. This is like what I used to, I always make jewelry for myself. I don't sell it anymore, but I used to sell it. But um, just take this brooch part off the pin that's on the back. And then you've got a flat piece that you can then lay down. So I had pictured just putting it right on top of the flower. So let's just see if we do that, how it's gonna look, I don't know. We may not like it, but we'll try. Y'all tell me what you think as I'm putting these on. It may just need, um, it may, we may just like the, the rock looking things better. Almost, I think I hate to take that off until I see if we're gonna like it. Let's just leave them. I'll just place them down and we will see what we think. Hi, Teresa, how are you tonight? I bet you're gonna be over at the Sparkle Six with me, aren't you? Who, who else is already planning on doing that? Do anybody else? We have fun in the comments when we're watching them because they're a hoot. I'm just deciding if I want to use this, so y'all let me know what you think. That will be at 7 Central. So many to choose from. I don't know. Let's put this big one in here and see what we think. They are a fun group for sure. Good friends, good business friends, and um, supportive of each other. And I just love, love that. So I don't know. We'll, I'm just playing with that big one, you know, with the blingy thing in the middle. Oops, I just put my hand in that paint ball. Let me move this so that I don't do that again. It's hard to move my chair up. Well, I don't know that I'm gonna love this. I really don't. Now that I'm looking at it, you know, you don't know until you try. I'm gonna see about moving them to the center. Are we liking the bling on there at all? Oh, I know. I'm so glad you're in there. Good, A.B. Y'all like the bling? Did you like it spread out or move to the center? What are y'all thinking? It's really hard for me to tell from the just looking like this. Spread out, you like it? Okay, there's 10 of you on here. One on the middle flower only, Rena. We'll try that. And it could be any of these. Let's just take a look and see what we think. And we may not want it. We may just want some of the glass pieces we can also pour these around, you know, all around the sides. You might not even need the bling bling. Let's just look. So in a perfect world, if all this was dry, this is how it would look. We would pour our, out our glass and get it situated and then pour the resin over it. And I'll do that tomorrow. If y'all wanna pop back on tomorrow, you can see it or you'll see the replay. You know, I'll have the replay available. Oh, goodness, I did too much right there. Just kind of spread it around. I love just playing. I love getting in here and just seeing how it looks. And sometimes the vision that we have doesn't look how we thought it would. So you just go to plan B. It's not a big deal. What 
are y'all thinking? I like the glass. Hi, Christina. How are you? Darker definition and then we'll, yeah, darker. I have a really pretty gray color that might be really pretty with this. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around to see what I think. I think when I when this dries fully, because this was a lot of paint, when this dries fully, I will be able to stand up and look over it and get a better get a better idea of what's going to be pretty. I love all the colors. I do love all the colors together. I did, Christine. Wait, mm, that was Carrie. I don't know. Let me check when I'm off of here. I don't remember now. I know I got Carrie's fixed. What do y'all think of this? I know it's hard to tell because I can't really move it without it all shifting around. Let me try removing these and see what I think. That takes away from the really pretty glass. Let's see. Takes a minute for me to see what you guys see. It's just so hard when I'm looking at it right here like this. I need to be up and back. I kind of like it without these little round ones. But y'all give me your opinions. Maybe one in the middle. When you say one in the middle, do you mean the bling bling, like the larger ones? Smaller font glass, yeah, me too. You like this, this one? And I do have a lot of small ones too. We might cluster them. AB says no, no. Denise says yes. See, it's so hard because we we all like something different. Um, let me think about this. Let's just think about if we had a cluster of small ones, just for fun, just for fun. I know it's hard to tell. I don't want to take them out of the package unless I'm going to use them. We would cover that whole entire flower if we used all of those. That's what I'm thinking. It might be pretty. What do y'all think? I like it either way. One bling in the middle. So too much to do all of that, I think is what y'all are saying. one small one. Might as well just try one small one. Oh, that's a really pretty one. I love that one. It's so girly. I love that. You see that? This one is a flat back, so you don't have to take the pin off, which is nice. Because my purpose, I will probably be taking the pin off of most of them unless I'm using it on a, a jacket or something. I know it's all, you like the small cluster. I'm going to just have to play with it. Once it's dry, I will play around and come back on tomorrow and do the resin. So if you guys want to pop on, you can watch, or if you just want to catch the replay, that's cool too. So I'm glad y'all came. The definition of the flowers need, sorry, I feel like the definition of flowers needed. Yeah. I mean, I'll have to play with it. Because it's hard for me to tell. On um, I'm just looking at the screen. It's just too hard when you're right on top of it. Or for me, I didn't have it planned out, so I just was playing. But I'll kind of play with it some more, and I'll get it to where we like it, I think. 
All right, guys, thank y'all for popping on with me. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Yeah, Jean, it'll turn out pretty. It will. They always do. I just love using the glass. I think it looks so good. You guys have a great weekend if I don't see you again, but um, at seven o'clock, we'll go over to the Sparkle Room, anybody that's free, and hang out and watch them do their thing. It's hilarious, and and they're cute, and they'll, they'll actually make stuff, and it'll be fun. Yeah, I'll take a photo. You're right. AB, did you send more stars? Thank you. Don't do that. I think I already saw you do stars. <laughs> you like the glass, Teresa? Yeah, I do too. So I'll have fun. I'll have fun kind of continuing to play with it, but y'all don't need to hang out the whole time. It'll get boring. Um, and then just pop back in tomorrow if you're free. So guys, oh, and don't forget, click on that little link if you want to read about the VIP group. It is $15, so you cannot beat that. It's a great value for everything you're going to get. And if you're leery and don't know what it'll be like, just come for a month and see what you think and then cancel it before your next payment um, if you're not, if you don't enjoy it. So y'all have a great evening too and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.